Hi, and welcome to the Knitting Samurai Plus One video podcast. This is episode 75, and I'm your host, Steph, also known as the Knitting Samurai. And there isn't a light in my eyes, so I think I can keep my glasses on. It is December 27th, so happy end of the year, Merry Christmas, happy holidays to you. I am recording from my parents' house. Um, the ladies took Roland to see a Thomas Train, Thomas the Train exhibit at the mall. And the guys have gone to do whatever they do. I don't know, shopping and eating at McDonald's. And I find myself alone in the house. I'm working from home today. So I thought I could snag 10 minutes or so and do a quick catch up with you guys. So I hope you had a wonderful holiday season. I did. I um, was able to finish my 13th pair of stripy socks for the year. So those are a Christmas present that was given. So I can't show them to you, but I could insert a picture. Maybe I'll do that. <laughs> and I believe I had started my Grinch socks last time we spoke. So they are in my Stitch by Jessalou bag. And I am using the Red Heart Heart and Souls yarn. Um, it's The colorway is faded blue jeans, but to me, it really looks red and green. <clears throat> so um, that's the first sock. I'm past the heel turn, or past the heel, and working my way up the leg. And the second sock, I'm about to start as it increases in an inch or two. <laughs> so these are coming along nicely. I really like them so far. I um, <clears throat> There was a knot in this skein, which they uh, left out about two or three stripes before they re-knotted it. <laughs> Gave me a bit of a headache trying to line it back up, but I think I've done a pretty good job. Wait, let me get it right. There we go. Getting them back into sequin. So I'm pleased with that so far, but I did end up throwing away a, a good bit of yarn. And if I had paid a bit more for this, I would have been upset. But you know, commercial big dyers, they don't really have the same feeling about um, quality as our lovely independent dyers do. So that's going along nicely. I've had quite a bit of mindless knitting time with the family, you know, because somebody's always with Roland. So I'm able to sneak in some knitting. So that's been great. And then new this week, new on the needles, you haven't seen it before, is the Rosewater Hat by Tin Can Knits. Uh, do I have a picture to show you? Perhaps, maybe I do. I do, but it's black and white and it's not really going to do it justice. But um, I'm knitting it more of a slouchy version for me. Um, this is definitely lace, 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 lace. Last, let's see, last Saturday, all my Christmas knitting was done. Saturday before Christmas itself. And I was like, what do I do? What do I do next? And so I said, well, you cast on a new project. And you obviously hide a Thomas in your knitting bag. So I'm using my winter, or yeah, my winter bag. So, um, it's definitely too big for this project, but that's okay. Um, so this is the Rosewater Hat by Tin Can Knits from the Handmade in the UK ebook. I am using Divine Zenith, which is a discontinued yarn, but I'm a fan of it. It's really, really soft yarn, um, but for every bit of softness, it's equally splitty. So it's an extremely splitty yarn, which makes me a little crazy, but has great stitch definition, looks good. I wouldn't want to knit a full sweater out of it. I've done, have I done a sweater for Roland out of it? I know I bought the yarn thinking I would knit a sweater for him. Um, I have several colors of it. When it was discontinued, I think Lem's had it on closeout and I just bought it up like crazy. So. Um, here's the hat so far. This is color 33083, and that, I'm sorry, I put the shade down so the sun wouldn't be in my eyes, but now I'm seeing that you guys aren't getting a whole lot of light to see my work, so that's not so, so fun. Let's see if I can stretch it a little bit and give you the lace. I am just about to start the crown decreases, and that will, you know, um, I'd say I am three quarters of the way through this hat. So once I get that crown decrease is done, 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 and I'll be wearing it. I am knitting the, uh, because it calls for DK weight yarn, and this is worsted, but I am using the recommended needle size, which is US size six for the bulk of the hat, 4.0 millimeter. Um, 
I did decide to knit the, I think it's adult medium, even though I have a rather large dome, adult medium, but I'm going with the length of the adult large. So um, I'm not going to put it. Well, here you go. <laughs> there you go. I really love the the ribbing, the way that turned out, the through the back loop, knit one, purl one through the, or knit, whatever. That stitch, um, I don't know why I don't use that for all of my ribbing. I love the stitch definition that gives. Plus, I believe that's one of the, the good qualities of this yarn is the stitch definition. So it should be a, a bit slouchy on me, you know, once it's situated right. But that's how it's going so far. Um, my winter coat right now is black, and so black with gray trim. So I thought this would look really pretty up against it. And I've used one full skein. I've just started the second skein, so I won't have enough for mittens, but maybe fingerless mitts. I don't know how much of this I actually have out in the bin, so I have to check that so I know for sure. Oops. So I thought that. I would share with you some of my Christmas gifts. Um, I don't have it all with me, some of it, some of the books and stuff. Um, there was Steve today. They're in the car and he took the car to work. So, and I stayed up here at my parents' store for months. So, um, I did get some opal yarn in the two skeins of it. My mom picked it out. She ordered it from Webs. I, she pushed me for what to buy for yarn. And I said, well, if you want to buy some sock yarn that you like the color of that I will knit for you, go ahead. So this one is Smoky Eyes and Colored Lids. I don't know if that's a series or what, but that's what the label says. And then this one is Moyer. I'm thinking based on the picture, it's supposed to look like bricks with a mortar in between the bricks. But, so this is an orange blue, and this is a blue, yellow, black color. So I'm thinking, Mom, Dad, socks next year. We'll see. So there's that. And then Steve, my husband, contacted Steve of Leading Man Fiber Arts and got a skein of Glacial, which is beautiful, beautiful color. He got it in ghost light. I'm so afraid of this yarn. <laughs> so that's 875 yards of a super fine merino silk blend in lace weight. I've never knit lace weight. I don't know what to do with this. So this will need to sit for a little while and think about what it wants to be. But it is a beautiful color. Um, my club shipment of Into the World came. So here's this one. It's called Dream Sequence. Beautiful teal or baby blue black, purple, pink color. And then this lovely bit of business is a yarn bowl that my parents got me. So this is from Karen's Pot and Glass. I'll have links in the show notes. She has a beautiful Etsy shop. I went and looked around at what else I could get for her from her, but really pretty yarn bowl. So and it matches my living room. Perfect. So that's exciting. And then how about I'm flying right through this. I hope you guys don't mind. How about a 2013 Goals update? were the 13 pairs of socks. Picture here. <laughs> I did four patterns out of the goal of 13 from books. I knit four baby blankets with a goal of knitting two. So I went above and beyond, but I didn't do the other part of that goal. So I'm not counting that. 13 sweaters. I knit five of the 13 sweaters. Uh, better, than that, better than my typical one a year. So that's good. And then 13 oldest yarns, I used uh, one for one of the baby blankets, and then I used up one in the snowball bunnies that I showed you last week. I used up some yarn there. So two skeins out of the 13. Um, pretty sure 2014, I'll have to do a new clip because I do like having goals and checking in and keeping track. Um, pretty sure I'm going to keep on with the use up all my ride back yarn I bought this year. So we'll see how that one goes. Um, what are your goals for 2014? I know the thread over on the Ralph group is pretty active of what people are thinking about or recapping the year. So if you have some you'd like to list out, we'll open a thread and let's just do it together. You know, I love to enable each other to get through things and achieve what we'd like. So 
that's all I have for today. I hope you have a great 10 days or so. Until I see you again, enjoy this last bit of 2013, and I'll see you in 2014. Take care.